Okay, so now we're going to talk about something called long division. Now, this is the one that sometimes trips people up a little bit. So if you want to, do stop the video and also do have a go at some of the questions that will be at the bottom of the screen and you can download. The question I'm going to ask is 313 divided by 18. And it's a bit like short division. What we're saying is how many lots of 18 can we get out of the number 313? There's two ways of doing it. One of which is the formal method, and the other of which is a method that um, some people use, which is called chunking. And it's quite a good way of doing things. But firstly, I'm going to do the formal method, because that's the one that I was taught. So what we say is 18 into 313. OK. Now, once again, I know that these are hundreds, tens, and units, and I'm just going to ask myself the first question, how many times does 18 go into the number 3? Well, none at all. So if you like, there's a nothing there. I'll just draw that very, very faintly. Then the next question is, how many times does 18 go into the number 31? Well, it goes once. And what I can do is write 18 at the bottom there, and take away the two numbers, and it leaves me with 13. So the question now is, I can move on to the units 3. If I drop those units down, I now have a new question, how many times does 18 go into 133? Well, the thing I need to know about that is, can I guess the answer or estimate the answer first? And I need to know a little bit of multiplication. And what I think is that 18 will go into 133 six or seven or eight times. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say 18 times seven. And like we did short multiplication before, if I work that out, that comes out as 126. And guess what? That's very, very close, that 133. So it'll go in seven times. There's 126. I take away the two numbers, and I'm left with 7. So the answer to how many times does 18 go into 100, uh, 313 is 17 and 7 bits left over. Now, I know I went through that very quickly, but if you stop the tape a couple of times, I hope that you'll be able to follow the working there. So that's one method of doing it, which is the formal method. The other method doesn't use as much multiplication, but it allows us to take little chunks of 18 multiplies each time. So I'm going to write it slightly differently. My question is, how many times can I divide 313 by 18? Well, the first thing I know is that if I multiply 18 by 10, which is 180, I can take that 180 off, and that leaves me now 133. So I know that now I've got 10 lots of 18 so far. So the other thing I can do is I can say, well, I can take another chunk of 18s off, and I'm going to say 5 times 18, and 5 times 18 is 90. So there's another chunk I can take off there, and that leaves me now with... 43. And then I think I can squeeze another couple of chunks of 18 off, and I think I can say 2 times 18 equals 36. There's my 36 there. And what's left is 7. So what I've done is I've taken chunks of 18s off. Now if I add those chunks up, I've got 10 plus 5 plus 2 is 17. So the answer to how many times will 18 go into 313 is 17 chunks of 18 and 7 bits left over. So I can still get exactly the same answer using a chunking method as opposed to a formal method. Um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it, providing you get really proficient at doing one way or the other. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to have a go at some of the questions yourself.